great. More puzzles. The three pyramids of Azinthma and to be to be placed around the corpse. These symbols are of some kind of code, but what are they? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I was like, did I do that wrong? You did it, Ash. Oh, back here again. Well, on to the next one. It's like... Like, okay. Door three. Another one. Like, I hope I did it right. All right, what's this one gonna be like? Oh, great, grainy. Dad, when will mom get out of the hospital? Do you think she'll recognize me with my new face? Sal, can we not do this today? I just miss her. She's dead. She's effing dead. Mom isn't coming home. We still don't know what happened. What about the man with the dog face? We've been over this. Nobody believes me, but I did see the dog man. That's enough, Sal. Oh my. I chose the pink one because that's mom's favorite color. I hope she will recognize me with it on. Oh jeez, that's so frustrating. Ugh. I feel for Henry too. Oh great. I've been looking for this spot. I spent so much time out in these woods, searching for some evidence that this was real, that I wasn't losing my mind. The council went to great lengths covering it up. They had hidden it with a concealing spell, as they called it. Of course, what they consider magic is merely science that they don't understand. That makes sense, though I have to be honest. It's a pretty dreary way of, to explain magic. Anyway, I'm guessing you have some hidden things of your own around here yet. Around here, yeah? The second pyramid is here. Three-dimensional. I don't know why my arms are off like that, but... Is there anything in here? Guess not. My arms are off! Way off. I can't change the camera angle, which is unfortunate. I'm kind of beholden to this view. Okay, fine. Where do we go next? And my attached, detached arm. What? What's this? <sighs> Alright. I have no idea. Oh wait, there's something there. Okay. White, white, black, white, black, black. White, white. So do I have to combine the two? White, white. White, white. Okay. Okay. I made that. Hmm. And then moon, moon, sun, 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 moon, moon, sun, moon. Moon, moon, sun, 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 moon, sun, moon, sun, moon. 
Moon, moon, sun, 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 moon, moon, sun, moon. Okay, so it looks like what I have to do is, again, this... I would not have been able to figure this out on my own. But if you notice, the the uh, block of squares is 3x3. Three three. Here it's 2x3. The sun and moon are 3x3, three three, but on the left it's 2x3. So you're basically just trying to represent the tiles uh, using the other symbols. So for example, on the right you have white, white, then black, white, then black, black. So I'm presuming if you treated the sun as white and the moon as black, right? Because here. Yeah, if you treated the sun as, and then here, then there you go. Totally would not have figured that out on my own. I would have gotten so frustrated by it. And especially because you start reading into things, you're like, does the arms mean something? Maybe it does. Maybe it does. So it's... What was it? Sun, moon, moon, sun. Yeah, moon, moon, sun. So it's black, black, white, 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 black, black, white, black. Um, white, white, black, 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 white. Or is it the other way? Black, black, white. White, white, black. There we go. Okay. Now we do this. Now we do the thing with the thing. Again. We do this again. Again. There we go. Ugh. For goodness sakes. Alright, one more. Wow. His flesh, we are, we are, really are res resurrecting him. Piece by piece. Another one lit up. Keep going, Ash. I'm getting stronger. Oh, don't, you don't look so great, Sal. I'm gonna figure this out. Let's get you back to normal. White, black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white. My goodness, now he's turned into a zombie. This is very graphic. Is there anything new with these areas? We are shadows for a sleepless dream. Will I be broken forever? Your soul may be forever fragmented. It is a rare occurrence, but not unheard of and not unexpected given the circumstances. I can't say I was expecting this. It is the reason you're able to drift between worlds. It is the only way you will be able to affect change and bring an end to the devourers of God. Why me, though? Because it is what you have chosen. Like in a different life? What are these pyramids doing exactly? When your soul was shattered, so was your, so too was your ability, so too with a T-O, that should be T-O-O, -O, so too O-O -O, was your ability to remain in your home world. Pyramids will merge together, those pieces of your soul, so that part of your being may once again exist. Man, that is more complicated than I imagined it would be. Is this place a dream? It feels different from reality, hazy and uncertain, like a dream. I know I've been here before, somehow. 
There is no easy answer to this question because there are no words to describe it that you can understand. Convenient. It is both an ethereal dream and a physical place. It is solely your mind, and yet it is all minds. It is infinite and finite. It is the dark and the light. It is... Okay, thanks. I get... I think I get the idea. Not really. Bye! Okay, I hope this is the last of the puzzles. I don't... I'm not... at all... equipped for these puzzles. I just want to get to the story. <laughs> I, I don't want to do these puzzles. I just want to get to the story already. Are you ready for your first day of school, Sally? I don't know. It'll be fun. You'll get to meet a bunch of kids your age and make lots of new friends. But what if they don't like me? That's impossible. You're the coolest guy ever I ever met. Me? Of course. I don't want to leave you, Mommy. You don't have anything to be afraid of, my love. The teachers will take good care of you. And I'll be right here when you get back. I love you. I love you the most, Sally. Don't you forget it. Now what? Oh. Okay. A little Tim Burton. This is the cave by Wendigo Lake? I don't remember it being so big. Another illusion created by your favorite cult. Whoa. Was that a joke from Mr. Sirius? No, it is me, Jim Johnson. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go find the last pyramid. Godspeed. This really is very Tim Burton. Alright, what's the puzzle here? Oh, great. Hieroglyphics. Hello? And the monster. Tala Gray. Whoa, back off, dude. I'm tougher than I look. I'm not afraid to put you down. Hey, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I'm just looking for something I lost. Aren't we all? Well, you better not try anything. I'm watching you. I promise I won't. My name is Sal Fisher. Tala Gray. So, what are you doing in these caves, Sal Fisher? Besides sneaking up on people. I was just about to ask you the same question. I don't think I've ever seen you around Knockville before. My relatives are from here. I don't visit too often, but my grandfather has recently gone missing. Unfortunately, that tends to happen a lot around here. I hope you find him. Thanks, my grandmother was fascinated by these caves. He used to tell me that our ancestors made all of these paintings. He said they depicted a warning of a hungry beast that hunts in this land, like eating all these souls. Have you seen a small metal pyramid around? A small pyramid, huh? I'm guessing that's the thing you lost? Yeah. I haven't seen anything like that around here, sorry. What about some churny hexagons? You're just out here, with a mask on, looking for a bunch of shapes, huh? It's a prosthetic. Well, I'm sorry, I couldn't be more help with your- help- I couldn't be more help with your geometry. No, you're not. You're not sorry. Your ancestors were from Nockfell? My grandparents say that our ancestors named Nockfell, though I could never find evidence of that. I can trace our lineage back a few generations, but then it's all word of mouth after that. These paintings are also pretty old, pretty odd. They aren't documented anywhere that I could find, and their appearance is very different from other Native American paintings. What do you think it all means? I'm not sure, but I've got a feeling it has to do with my... with why my grandfather is missing. Is there anything I can do to help? I doubt it, but thanks. What about an evil beast? Hungry, not evil. It's just a beast. It doesn't have morals. It only does what it needs to survive, same as all animals. That's how the story goes, at least. Suddenly, the Grey Tribe was traveling through the woods when they saw a large glowing light in the distance. They sent their strongest hunter to check it out. Hours after they had gone, the light went out. A couple more hours after that, and the hunter returned with excitement to finding a beautiful lake. The next few months, the tribe migrated to this area, to live by the lake. What does this have to do with the beast? I'm getting to that part. So they moved to the lake, right? But then people start disappearing in the middle of the night. Turns out the hunter had turned into a beast and was eating people. What do they do? I guess they made a deal with it so that they could continue to live on the land. Though they had to make sacrifices to it. Hmm, interesting. If by interesting you mean BS, then yeah. You don't believe it? Heck no, it's just some silly story they probably told kids to keep them out of the woods at night. Alright, I don't think it was just a story. 
Okay. This triangle thing. Hmm. And then this... Okay. The fallen souls, hands... There's the beast. The triangle. Okay. Something's going to appear here. Oh. Okay. Well, let's do this again. There we go. There we go. It's a lot, a bit of trial and error. That was it? That was it? Okay, uh, that was like, the, the, I hardly had to do any puzzles there. Okay. I don't understand what's happening, but the third one is activated now. Will this bring you back? My ghost will be able to interact with my body, cannot be revived. Are you sure? The prophecies are vague, but they suggest that you will take physical form. I'm not sure of anything. All right, then let me take care of this last pyramid. I hope I won't mess up. Black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white. Okay, and then black, white. Black and white. There we go. Sal. Uh, brains. Dang it, was that. This was supposed to resurrect you. This was supposed to resurrect you. Are you okay? It hurts. There's another part of Todd's notes, but I haven't been able to make much sense of them. I'm so sorry, Sal. I failed you again. You deserve better than this. You deserve better than me. Wait. I know what it means. I know what I have to do. Oh! Ash, er, don't. I would gladly die if it means that you will live. This is how I can make up for everything I've messed up. Oh, I don't want to see, I don't want to watch this. No. Go save them, Sally Face. I hope we meet again. I don't want to watch this. Oh, I don't want to watch this. Ash, no. A life for a life. And he go... Oh my. Wow. Well. Well. How many loved ones will you kill to save the world? What will be left... What will be left worth saving?
Are you okay, Larry? Yeah, dude, I uh, just got something in my eye. I told you this movie is emotional. It's just so beautiful. I hope they end up together in the end. They deserve happiness after all the stuff they've been through. Yeah. Hey, Larry. What's up? Do you... Do you think that anyone could ever love me like they love each other? Who wouldn't love you? Don't be stupid. You're Sally Face. You're perfect, dude. Aw, oh, they're such... They have such a great bromance. Oh, bottle. Empty bottle. Of course Neil can move in. I'm surprised it took you this long to ask, honestly. His current lease is nearing its end now, which is why I waited. I'd be happy to have him at our place. I'm sure Larry will too. Though Larry probably won't move in until next year. Right, well thank you. Neil will be excited to hear the news, and I will be very glad to have him close by again. Oh. And it's gonna be Ash next. Ugh. What's wrong, Sal? I'm just no good at this. I'm sorry for wasting your time. You've got nothing to apologize for. I've been having a great time painting with you. You're an amazing artist, Ash, and a wonderful teacher. I'll never be as good as you, though. Sure you can. All it takes is patience, is practice and determination. But only if you want it, you know? You don't need to be good at everything you do. Same thing we do just because they're fun and we like doing them, or even just to spend time with people we like. I guess you're right, and I have been enjoying this time together, very much so. I'm glad to hear that. Anytime you want to paint, or even just hang out, you let me know. Ashley, I wish you would have seen yourself the way I did. You weren't a failure in my eyes. You were always there for me. You gave me hope when I needed it most. Even when you saw the horrible things I had done. The pile of bodies of all of the people that he killed. And all the people that died along the way. The friends that we made and the friends that we killed along the way. Or the friends that died along the way. Even when you couldn't believe the reasons I had to do those things, you stood by me. That means everything. The ritual requires one final step. Seize the power of the blade of Osiris? Like the god of death? Is he gonna wake up in her body? <sighs> oh, what's happening to me? Oh. Is she melded with him? With Sally Face? My goodness. Ash, can you hear me? Sal, where are you? The ritual has awakened the power within my being. But I cannot return to your world. You must be my sword in the darkness. This power I feel. Is this is you? Yes. Oh, stuff, Sal. Yeah, tell me about it. Whoa, thank you for trusting me with this. I couldn't have obtained this power on my own, Ash. It's all thanks to you. Let's go kick some cultists, A. This is so weird. So we're just gonna swipe at the cultists? Okay. Okay. Do 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 do. 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 Oh my. Now we're gonna... So we're not gonna C4 anything? Okay. Stop the cult. I'm just gonna... Uh, pretty much just... Uh, at them. Where is everyone? Well, they're about to get smacked. What? Cowards. The center chamber is sealed shut. How are we gonna get in there? I think I can get us in. Oh boy. There's the C4. It's just like what Larry did. Oh my goodness. 
I mean, this it is creative. All of these different styles, I will give it that. It's super creative. The Devourers of God, 1663 to 1681 at EST. The first prophecy brings small, Frosty brings small group of natives together. It should be a small group of natives together. A, fa a faction of the Grey tribe. Colonists arrive in Knockfell. A marriage between Sitali Grey and Wesley Rosenberg unites the two groups. Original temple is built back in 1663. 1703, Phelps Ministry is constructed to hide the temple, used to indoctrinate followers and gain members. Another ceremonial marriage between the Grey and the Phelps families. Specific details unclear. Mid 1700s, the prophecy about the child of the abomination is spoken and becomes a part of their doctrine. Preparations for his execution begin. 1887, Addison and apartments are built. The temple expanded, cult growing in numbers. 1905, Terence Addison is born. Oh my gosh. Terence Addison is like a hundred something years old. His parents made a deal with the council and so, they, and so the boy was blessed from birth to be the entry point of the endless one. The council secretly fed him human flesh. This information is withheld from general members. <laughs> I wonder why. 1906, the prophecy says that killing the child of the abomination will bring a man from the sky, who they believe is me, who will greatly help the devourer's efforts. 1917 to 1932, Terence's soul is destroyed by the Endless One, and his parents are murdered. The boy's appearance starts to change, so the council locked him up in his room to keep their secret. They are able to draw power from the beast. 1938, the first shadow is successfully summoned. These cosmic predators are relentless. May, my studies show that they can be contained and even destroyed by strong enough sources of ultraviolet light, but only when not possessing a host. Eight, 1983, initiation. Hmm. I have no idea. What the heck is this thing? Mutagen. I have no idea. Great. I have no idea. Now where are we? Where the heck? Uh, what in the heck is this? Oh, I'm so over these puzzles. I just want to get on with the story, to be perfectly honest. Ugh. So over this. What's in door number one? Okay, fine. Uh, I don't think any of these doors. All right. Oh, sorry, Ash. You're on your own. I can't. No idea. Okay. Was there like another door? I'm just gonna keep pressing buttons while I'm back here. Maybe there's a secret door somewhere. Nope. No idea what I'm supposed to do. I have no clue. Okay, I'll, I'm leaving because I have no, I have no idea. No clue.
There we go. I don't know what that did. Maybe open the door, I don't know. Maybe these things on the wall is what's supposed to tell us. It's supposed to tell us what the save combination is. It's really hard to read them though. Yeah, I'm gonna leave because I really don't know. All right. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Todd? Archbishop Kenneth Phelps, we've been expecting you. What have you done? The final dissension is upon us on this night. Mankind will triumph over a god. You killed them and many others. We are destined to be so much more than... Shut the heck up, you psycho. I'm going to end you. I thought you might feel that way at first. Take that, punk. Come at me. Take that. Smack. Moving faster. Come on, punk. Come on, punk. Come on, punk. I will end you. Oh my. Todd. Don't worry. We're going to get you out of this. Sal. Is that you? Uh, is that dad? Is that your dad? <gasps> oh, that's daddy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. What happened? Oh, it's Larry. Oh, it's Larry. When the it's Larry. When the treehouse burned, I was lost in the void. I spent so long there, dude. Like really long. I can tell. I like the beard though. <laughs> But yeah, there was this weird tree. The roots were all cosmic-y and stuff. Creatures gathered around and worshipped it. They called it the Mother Tree. I'm still not really sure how, but it helped me find my way back. I think I've seen that or felt it before. You're connected to it. We all are. Larry, about Lisa, I... Dude, you don't need to say anything, I know. But I... It's okay. Seriously, all of their souls would have been destroyed. I'm glad your soul didn't dissolve in the void. Not yet, at least. Though Todd was right about the whole second death thing. Souls fade into the void and become nothing. It sounds brutally final, but I didn't learn much beyond that. Do you know how we can save Todd? I think I can get him out. I'm surprised he's lasted this long. He's always had a strong will. Oh, I have something for you. I found him in the void. Is it the... Oh! Leave Todd to me. You need to hold back the shadows. They're starting to seep in. Okay, be careful. You too. Well, I'm glad they reunited. They're here. Oh. Okay. Eat my A, you red eyed B. Okay, so I have to use the, the stone. Okay. All right, come on, get down here. Come on. Let's go. This is gonna be one of those multiples of three things. Whoa. I won't let you do this. Yeah, Travis. Your betrayal is not surprising. You were always were a disappointment. The feeling is mutual, you effing freak. You know you can't stop this, son. Oh no! Travis! Ashley, get out of here now. It can't end like this. We have to. I have to. <gasps> No, let's trust in, let's trust in Sally. Let's trust in Sally. I'm just spamming the R button. 
I got you, Todd. Hold on, buddy. Okay, now where am I? Whoa! Alright, so we're, we're just doing a three-pronged thing. Just blasting everything. Oh, jeez. Try again? I'm trying. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Okay. Ugh. Oh. Sonic Boom. Alright, Todd. Oh, these things again. Come on. We are everlasting. Ew. Oh my. Oh jeez. Oh my. Let's not do this. Oh, I thought I had to shoot it. I was trying to... I ran right into it. trying to hit it. That's what I was trying to do. Come on. Now what? The three thrones? Oh. Come on. Oh, now we're claymations. The devourer of God. The creator of all things decays in our in our bowels. Its power is surging through our veins. The imagery at, in this last chapter, I will say, as I said, it's, it's, uh, it's very diverse and creative. I don't believe you. The broken soul resisting what is inevitable, yet we are eternal and have surpassed God itself. You will soon become one with the endless. We are the final stage of all humanity. I will never join you. Eat this. Oh, well, that's not working. Okay, it's like space invaders. Okay. Now. Jeez, now what? Oh! Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sheesh. Sheesh. Okay.
Take four. Spamming. Oh, oh. Is that, was that it? Oh my. The three, oh wow, the three. Okay. Was that the final boss? Okay. Hopefully. Oh. <gasps> Did we save Todd? Todd? Hey, are you okay? Larry? It's good to see you, Ash. I, uh, like the new look. When did you get so old? It's a long story. When did you get all glowy? Long story. It's over. We did it. Why does it feel so bad? Are you sure it's over? Seems like it, but I just... Todd, you're alive. Where... What happened? I think we stopped them. I'm glad you're okay, dude. Good to have you back, Todd. We'll fill you in on the details later. After we get you patched up, there's a lot to talk about. I just want you all to know how much I, you mean to me. I love you guys so much. I was lucky to know you. Oh, I'm gonna miss Larry. I'm glad I got to see all you. See you all again. We love you too, Larry. Are you all right? I'm sorry. I didn't have much time left. Larry. I didn't think I'd be afraid when. I just wish I had more time. <gasps> oh, Larry. What? No. Where did he? He can't leave again. We just got him back. Was that Larry? Yeah. Maybe we'll see him again someday. On the other side of Oblivion. If there is such a place. Huh. Okay. Finished episode 5. Alright! To be continued? Okay. Probably because I didn't get all the secrets. Okay. And that was it. I just ended there at, to be continued until I guess maybe you have to get the perfect ending. Yeah, maybe you have to get the perfect ending. 68%. All right. So my guess is that you'll get the you'll get the final ending if you if you go back and do everything. Um but I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't really have any desire to do that. So, uh, so I'm just gonna comment on, on um, what I've experienced so far going through my my very first playthrough of this from chapters one through five because I wanted to at least wait until I beat it. I beat it for the first time uh, before I gave my. Um, my, I guess, official, official thoughts on it. I definitely have been giving my opinions of it as I was playing, um, but now that I have at least reached the end, it's not the perfect end, it seems like, but a, an end to the, to the game. Um, I, 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 I can definitely see, I can definitely see why this game has so many accolades and why it has a lot of positive reviews and why it's very well acclaimed. 100% I can see it. Like the the art style um, is very unique and very specific. Um, there definitely is a lot of creativity to this game. Um, the creepiness factor is there if that's what you're into. Is it a game for me? Um, no. <laughs> I I definitely was not the intended audience for, for this game. The story was interesting enough, um, and the characters overall were okay. I think, I think for me, Sally was okay. Larry probably was my favorite character, between Larry and Todd. I think they both were my favorite characters. Sally was okay, Ash was okay the people in the apartment were diverse and unique, but I wouldn't say that I 
liked most of them. I wouldn't say that I was attached to any of them, really. Um, so, and those are all things that for me are the kind of things that cater to me. So I, I, clearly this, this game caters to a very specific niche audience. And I'm unfortunately not in that niche. And, uh, but I, I wanted to finish it. I wanted to beat it because I just wanted to, uh, out of respect for dear, dear, dear Alexandra, who recommended this game for me, out of respect to her, I wanted to just see through it to the end and just complete it um, before I made any any final decisions. But I, I think that, that I come to, to the realization that this is a kind of game that I would probably much prefer um, watching somebody else let's play. I think it would be would have been really interesting for me to watch it, um, to watch somebody else play through the game um, versus me actually playing it. Because I, 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 the if you like the kind of puzzles that these games give, I like puzzle games. Growing up as a kid, I did enjoy puzzle games. These puzzles, I think, were just way too obscure for me. They were way too subtle or abstract. I think I was able to to figure out many of them, but... Uh, and I think part of the reason why um, I sort of, like, didn't even put in a lot of effort into the ones near the end was because I just wanted... If I'm being honest, I just wanted to get to the, through the end. I just wanted to get through the game. I was like, I just want to know how this ends. I just want to know how the story goes. Just let me get, just, just let me get through whatever the minimum I need to get through puzzle-wise, just to get to the game, which is not, which is not ideal. And so again, I, I it, it, this clearly a lot of you out there love this game, and if you did love this game, you, that's probably one of the main reasons why you like to watch people's let's play of it, you know. Um, and I apologize to all of you who, who may have been frustrated with me and probably were disappointed that I didn't enjoy this game more than I did but I I when I when I LP games I I'm honest I'm very open and honest and transparent about about games I try to be very fair as much as possible and give credit where credit is due but at the same time I I want to be able to be subjective as well and give my honest feelings and opinions of of games that I that I play and not, you know, not sugarcoat things to be. But again, I try to be as respectful about it as I can. Um, so in the end, I don't really feel any motivation, unfortunately, to go back and try to get 100% on the other episodes. Or maybe what I'll do is I'll watch the, the perfect ending or whatever the real ending is for this game. I, I think one major critique I have is even if you didn't get the perfect ending, um, even if you didn't do whatever it is you needed to do to, I guess, get the... I, 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 I think there it, it needed to feel like, like you beat the game. Like this one, it didn't feel like you beat the game. I mean, part of it, I get it because it says to be continued, but it just was so abrupt. It's just like, hey, here's the end end credit screen. Thanks for playing. Um, and that was it. It it just ended very abruptly. And like, hey, we saved the day. And then it's like, uh, okay. I, 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 it was not very satisfying to me. And maybe that's the point. Maybe they purposely made it unsatisfying to motivate you to go back and get the best ending, but the problem is I didn't, I don't have any motivation to go back um, and get the best ending, uh, which is really unfortunate. I know, I understand that. So, yeah, um, the puzzles I'm sure would have been mentally stimulating for a lot of people, um, but I guess, and I think maybe if if the game was catered more towards me. If it did fit me more, um, I probably would have, as I said, spent a lot more time and maybe even enjoyed more of the puzzles. But um, I, I just didn't really like the creepiness of this game or just the the, the horror aspects of it just didn't really sit well with me. And I, I and and it's 
it's very like interesting my taste in in games like this because I do enjoy genuinely other games that have creepy factors in it, horror based factors in it, like Until Dawn, um, Quar the Quarry, uh, the Resident Evil games. I do enjoy those, but I think the reason why I enjoy those is because I do because I do I'm very invested and I'm very drawn into their stories and or I'm very invested and attached to the characters and or the game mechanics are just were just entertaining and fun enough um, like the Until Dawn I, I just love a lot of the decisions that you make and the fact that you know you're essentially uh, role playing through your own 90s slasher film and the choices the multitude of choices that you make have consequences on whether or not characters live or die. Those are the aspects of the game that I really enjoy, which is why I don't mind the the scary parts of it. I could do away with the jump scare stuff in those games 100% if I had my if I had my um, say in it, but I understand that that's part of the experience, that's part of what you sign up for. For something like Sally Face, there just wasn't enough, unfortunately, to really um, make me genuinely excited uh, to to play through each of the chapters. Um, the first chapter was interesting enough for me to keep going, obviously, but there were definitely moments where I'm like, I, why did I sign up for this? I don't know why I signed up for this. I'm like enjoying some parts of it, but really not being, I, I don't really feel comfortable with most of it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Anyway, if you all enjoy this game, kudos to you. Um, I hope that even if you did love this game, I hope that my experience going through this game didn't spoil it for you. Because I hope it doesn't. Like, me, my feelings for this game should have zero to do, nothing to do with how well you do or don't enjoy a specific game. It should have no effect on you, hopefully, whatsoever. Um, and again, hopefully you understand that I'm I'm just I'm just um, verbally being transparent and honest about what I'm feeling in the moment, what's what's going on in my head, and how I am how I'm sensing things. Uh, so it's yeah. If I were to change anything, I would have made the ending feel less abrupt, regardless of whether or not you got the true ending. I think they could have given us something that was somewhat. Ex somewhat satisfying. They don't have to tie up all the loose ends and all of the loose ends. They don't have to give us a satisfying ending in the sense that, you know, everything was rainbows and ponies at the very end. Um, but something that wasn't just to be continued. Boom. Here's the credits and go back to the menu again. So go back and play the game again. Go back and play the other episodes again. That, that was like, mm, no, <laughs> no. So, yeah. That was my playthrough of Sally Face. Um, thank you all so much for watching this Let's Play. If you did go through it from its entirety, entirety with me, despite uh, my feelings of the game as I was going through it. Um, and thank you again to Alexandra for recommending it to me. Um, and that's all I got. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching, and until next time, love yourselves and love each other. Bye!